Hi, I'm Brian Vibberts, and you, many of you probably know that I'm an Antelope audio fan. I've been using uh, their products since about 2004. So when they told me about the new Orion 32HD Generation 3, I was wondering what it was all about. So I figured I'd test it out, and that's what I'm going to be uh, telling you some stuff about today. First of all, uh, you know, when people give me a, a new product, I don't always take their word for it, even though I totally trust the guys at Antelope, but I always want to test it out myself to make sure uh, that it fits with what I do in the studio, both uh, with routing, musically, and that it sounds good. So uh, I'm proud to say that Antelope has done it again. Somehow they've made it, made it better. I don't know the exact science behind it, but I use my ears and I know that I, what I'm hearing is uh, much better, it's like more focused, and uh, somehow it's amazing. Let's take a look at the actual piece. There it is right there in the rack. And let's see what some of these uh, new things have to offer. For my system here, I have an HDX3 system, so, uh, and several Antelope products, which you can see the Goliath is up here. Uh, but on the Orion 32 HD Generation 3, there's a lot of different routing options. Uh, since I'm connected to the HDX, port 1 is 32 channels, and then port 2 of the Digiport is another 32 channels. So for what I have, to give you an idea, is I have 16 channels of this going to analog summing, and then I have another 16 channels going to the AFX which is right there. And uh, so I have 16 channels of AFX uh, effects coming out of the Generation 3. And then I have another eight channels that I'm using for digital access, going to Bricasti, Reverbs, and that kind of thing. So it's very, very uh, powerful with the routing, and I can do a lot of different things. So one of the big things about the new Orion 32 HD is the latency and I figured I would instead of just talking about it I'll actually show you so you can see for yourself how it works. So this is what I call my source track. This is a snare drum. Let's see. There it is. And that is going to J1 and 2. That goes that's routed to the Orion 32 HD generation 3 uh, unit going to the AFX that you just saw on the panel through a hardware insert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this through the machine like this. Okay, so this is before and then that's after. That That's the way that I usually figure out exactly what's going on with the latency when I'm testing new products. So let's see what we got. We're gonna have to zoom in far because the latency is extremely low. Now I'm at 96K here. If you look there, that's the source. We have to find that same point down here. So if we look, it's there. Uh, that's kind of where it's crossing. So I have that marked here because I've done this test a few times. To see how many Samples that is, that's 23 samples at 96K. To give you an idea, this one down here is one millisecond. So as you can see, I have four of these. It's less than a fourth of a millisecond latency on this, which is like as good as it gets. Uh, recording live, nobody's going to hear that in... Um, in mixing, it's going to be very difficult to hear, although for me personally, I would correct it. The, um, you know, there's different ways to correct that, but we'll talk about that an another time. But anyway, I wanted to show you firsthand right here, right in front of you, how to get the latency, how to test it, and actually how quick it really is. So truly amazing. Of course, with the previous Orion 32 HD, it does come with the AFX, which I love. I use in mixes all the time. And I have made some presets that Antelope has 
released already. But in addition to those, I make more presets for myself. I just as starting points, it makes it easier. Um, just a few examples here. A lot of EQ, different compressors, limiters, a lot of good stuff in there, even uh, some tape simulation. So, um, one of the big things about this ever-growing, everlasting, uh, improving sound, I feel like each generation of the Orion 32 HD gets more defined, which, what does that mean? That means it makes it easier for me to hear bad frequencies in a sound, in the mix, what, what frequencies are fighting each other. So to have a more defined sound out of the converters means that I can EQ quickly, easier. I can use the, the, the reverbs, hearing the reverb tails easier, the delays. It just makes my mixing process go faster. So that's uh, what really works for me. And it's another great Antelope Audio product.